everyone welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to talk about the concept germ layer you know that the majority of the organism on the earth are multicellular organism including human being isn't it the body of the human being is made up of trillions of cells but this huge body of the human being is basically formed from the single cell called a zygote and the zygote is formed by the union of male and female gamete called as sperm and egg this zygote undergo division or cleavage in the early embryonic development and it ultimately produces the body of the organism so during this early embryonic development the germ layer is formed so the germ layer is a layer of cell which is formed during the early embryonic development and produces tissues or the organs in the adult body now we'll see about the development of germ layer as i told the development begins with the single cell called as zygote this zygote undergo division or cleavage to form a mass of cell called as morula this morula cells are undifferentiated cells means they do not have specialized structure or function so this morula cell again undergo division or cleavage to form an next stage called as blastula and the differentiation begins in this blastula stage where the outermost layer of the cell become flattened and it forms a trophoblast and the cells which is present inside it forms a embryoblast or inner cell mass and there will be fluid accumulation between the cells of the blastula which eventually produces the cavity called as a blastocoel and it is this embryoblast or the inner cell mass which produces the germ layer there are mainly three germ layer that is outer ectoderm in the endoderm and middle mesoderm and these three germ layer which finally produces the tissue or the organ in the adult body so this embryoblast in the next stage it differentiate into two layer that is epiblast and hypoblast this epiblast finally produces ectoderm and hypoblast it produces endoderm so the mesoderm is formed between the ectoderm and the endoderm as a result of invagination as you can see in this diagram the ectodermal cell will invaginate or move inward and it produces a layer of cell called as a mesoderm so this mesoderm layer completely formed between the ectoderm and the endoderm so in the later stages this layer of mesoderm split and produces a cavity called as a coelom or the body cavity so the three germ layer that is ectoderm endoderm and mesoderm is formed in the gastrula stage and the process is called as gastrulation the three germ layer which is formed will produce the tissues and the organs in the adult body now we'll see about the derivatives of these three germ layer first one is ectoderm ectoderm layer is the outermost layer so it mainly forms the outer components of the body like skin so it forms epidermis of the skin and its derivatives derivatives like head snails and the glands such as sebaceous gland mammary gland sweat glands etc so apart from that it also forms epithelial lining of the mouth and rectum and it also forms lens of the eye cornea of the eye animal of the tooth etc apart from that it also forms a nervous system which comprises peripheral and central nervous system second layer is mesoderm which is a middle layer as i told it leads to the formation of body cavity called the coelom apart from that this mesoderm layer forms a majority of the organ system like skeletal system which mainly consists of bone and cartilage muscular system which comprises all type of muscle tissue dermis of the skin anyhow epidermis of the skin is formed by ectoderm but dermis of the skin is derived from the mesoderm circulatory system which mainly consists of heart heart is made up of cardiac muscle then excretory system which comprises kidney and the ureter reproductive system which mainly consists of gonads then outer layer musculature and the connective tissue of respiratory and the digestive system is formed by the mesoderm layer third layer is endoderm which is a inner layer it mainly forms epithelial lining of digestive system respiratory system and linings of 
urinary bladder. Apart from that, it also forms associated glands of the digestive system like liver, pancreas, gastric gland, intestinal gland, etc. Apart from that, it also forms trachea, larynx, thyroid, urinary bladder, urethra, vagina, etc. That is about the derivatives of germ layer. Based on the number of germ layer, multicellular organisms are divided into two types. Diploblastic organisms and triploblastic organisms. We will see it one by one. First one, diploblastic animal. As the name indicates, these animals have only two germ layers in their embryo. Or the body of these organisms are derived from the two embryonic germ layer. That is outer ectoderm and inner endoderm. So mesoderm layer is totally absent in the diploblastic animal. Anyhow, this animal will have a layer called as mesoglia. So mesoglia is a gelatinous acellular layer which is present between the ectoderm and endoderm in the diploblastic animal. So true mesoderm is absent in the diploblastic animal. And the example for this is cilium traits and tenophore. So cilium traits and tenophore have only two germ layer that is ectoderm and endoderm. Second one is triploblastic. These are the organisms having all the three germ layer that is ectoderm, endoderm and mesoderm or body of the organism is derived from the all the three embryonic germ layer. And the example for that is all the organism from platyhelminthus to chordates. They are triploblastic organisms. So these are the two types of organism based on the number of germ layer. So that is all about the concept of germ layer. I hope you like this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.